listen to this. Because now, how does, if anyone wants to make money, right? Let's say you don't care about halal and haram, and you want to make money. Where does your mind automatically go? True? Do be so. Listen. The Prophet of Allah, he tells us, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, more or less. He says, your wealth, your rizq, the amount of money you're going to make in your life, has already been predetermined. When, not the day you were born, but 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already determined how much every single one of you is going to make in his life. So if you work hard, you don't work hard, you do drugs, you don't do drugs, you will not earn one dollar more than what Allah already predestined for you so many years ago. You know what the difference is? You know, sometimes when I see a drug dealer and he thinks, brother, I'm making money. I tell him, brother, you're a miskeen. You are going to make that money anyway. The difference is, is you chose to make it in haram. That's all. Do you think that if I sell drugs now, me, if Hubble started selling drugs, do you think I'm going to earn money that Allah didn't already write down for me? My Allah is already written down. Let, let's just say that in your whole life, you'll end up making $10 million or $5 million, whatever it is. Allah has already predestined it. You're going to earn this money. Whether you're crippled, you're on your bed, you're a tradie. You're, you're going to earn this money anyway. The only difference is what? Instead of making it in halal, you poor bloke, you chose to make it in haram. So come on the day of judgment and stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for every dollar you earned in haram, now you have to be held responsible for it. 